We're just getting started. Hey, listen, we're right here. We're six and one. Hey, we are six and one. Eyes up, everybody's eyes. Hey, listen. Hey, redemption road, round three. Redemption road, round three. You understand me? Hey, look, faith over fear. Faith in your training, faith in your teammates over fear of the unknown. You understand me? I think, I think it's important to have natural rivalries. It's, it's something that, that really rallies your fan base probably more than your football team. And I thought you saw a lot of passion down at South Alabama at that game on Thursday night. Um, a lot of passion from our students, a lot of passion from our fans in the, in the stands. And it meant a lot. And it meant a lot to our players too. So much, you know, we're close in geography, obviously. Uh, we recruit the same kids. A lot of the players on both sides of the ball know each other. So uh, it's big. Anytime you can play in a rivalry game, the fact that it was on ESPN even gave it a little bit more weight. But those are huge, and that's, that's what's great about college football. Yeah, the crowd was real well. Like they get, they gave us a lot of energy, and we fed off their energy. So we played a good game off of them, and I thank them for that. Credit to um, intensity. Like we we've been working on that all the summer long. Intensity. Coach Brown told us that we you know everybody have to win or lose, and you know we don't like losing, so you know we have to push through it and you know find a way to win. Uh, just, I don't think I've ever been a part of a game where I was the away team and I felt like the home team. I mean, like, I, it was multiple times in the game where our fans and our band absolutely shut down Souths, and it was just amazing just having that kind of feedback behind us. This one belongs to the Trojans! 
final score, Troy 28, South Alabama 21. Kuchera sprang free for a long gain, but the Trojans tackled him at the 20-yard line with no time left on the clock. The feeling was great. Like, it was the greatest feeling ever that I felt before. It, it felt like a big win, like we won the Super Bowl or something. I felt really relieved uh, because you know, as they won it last year, so it felt great to get the get the belt and put it back in his rifle home. Uh, but that last play, last couple plays, and I was scared. I ain't gonna lie. They caught the pass on the sideline, run up, but Blaze recover and stripped him. It was just great. And then going over to holding that belt, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was. But it just felt great horsing it up in front of our, our big crowd. Uh, no, nah, I just came into the game, you know. Just in my head, just to make plays and big guys making big plays. So I just made the plays that came my way. It's about chemistry. Within our units, we have chemistry and we have belief. And belief comes from leadership. All right, listen, listen I am proud of you. I'm proud of you. I think a lot of credit has to go to, to South Alabama and Troy's Student Government Association for coming up with the battle for the belt. I think that's huge. It's given, I think that's what's really added to the rivalry is having something to play for. And both student governments have done a good job selling it to the student body and the student bodies have got excited about it. As we took the belt around on campus last week, you know, people are excited. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of pictures and, and you know, you could tell that the students had a, a really high interest in that football game. We had a productive bye week coming off. We felt like that we really need to get better. Uh, not as pleased that we won the games against Georgia State and South Alabama, but don't think we played particularly well. Understanding that we've got to play better. We've got to, we've got to play at a higher level to continue to win at a, uh, and, and to be able to achieve our goals later in the year. Happens to be our next game against UMass. Uh, first, really, first time we've played in 17 days. Um, had a long break. In, bet in between games, so our guys need to be need to come out and we need to be aggressive early. And this is a game that gives us opportunity to get to seven and one. And we need to hopefully we're going to play in front of our home crowd in the first of three consecutive home games. Coming up next week on Behind the Wall, we take a look back at the UMass game and go into our recruiting department.